After the absence and resignation of Indira Shoemaker, Ward 1 City Council candidates can agree on one thing. Des Moines' Northwest Quadrant needs representation. KCCI sat down with all seven candidates to discuss a variety of topics important to voters. Ward 1 is a diverse district, both economically and racially. We asked questions to identify what they believe to be the biggest human rights issue for people living in their ward. Rob Barron said representing the Hispanic community can help people in his ward relate. I think there's a lot of folks in our community who don't feel like they're represented in the city council and in the halls of government. Uh, those could be immigrants, could be people of color, it could be first generation new people to the community. Chris Coleman says the council needs to make sure everyone is heard and feels welcome. We're really lucky to have so many people from around the world starting to call Des Moines home. That's a great benefit and it will make our community stronger for generations, but they have to feel a part of it. And the city council has to lead by making sure that everybody has a voice and the council is there to listen. Kathy Hillstern says Ward 1's biggest human rights issue is affordable housing and homelessness. And housing looks a lot, you know, can look a variety of ways to people, um, but, but it's not safe to live in a tent. RJ Miller says he's seen issues with police and people without homes. Well, I would say that and um, policing has also been an issue when it came to human rights, um, homeless people not being treated as human beings, being criminalized just because they're homeless and just not being treated and respected as, as, as dignified people. Kimberly Strope Bogus says legislation regarding the LGBTQ community needs the attention of city leaders. When we have issues like that and the partnership is quiet, who are they serving? They are in our backyard. They owe it to our community to step up and I will hold them accountable. Dennis McCullough says his neighborhood is full of different races and cultures and he hasn't seen any problems where he lives. Me personally, I have not seen any issues with diversity or anything like that. It's a very diverse, Des Moines is very diverse and has always been very welcoming. Rose Marie Smith did not identify a top issue, but stressed the importance of unity. Human rights is something that we all need to work together to, you know, be in partnership with each other to work together to make things work for everyone. 